Hello guys, this is Longview once again. I am right now at a fresh installation of Artex Linux. I went ahead and reinstalled it. I had some issues with Pipewire and I couldn't configure it proper, properly and I ended up messing up my system. And I just figured since I recently did an OpenRC video, I may as well just redo everything and go ahead and show you how to go ahead and do everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Steam because the process has changed a little bit. So, what we are going to do right now is we, since we are at a fresh installation, we are going to do sudo pacman s artix arch linux support. That's going to give us everything that we need in order to grab the Arch repos and put it into our into our configuration file. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We are going to control shift C to copy. Next, we are going to sudo text editor into our pacman conf file. We scroll all the way down and I'm going to go ahead and make a little comment here. Arch repos. Then I'm going to control shift V to paste all of the repos that, that the output of our installation has given us. And while I'm here, since we're going to be installing Steam and Lutris and stuff, we are going to uncomment the lib32 repository from the Artix repos. We are also going to be uncommenting multilib from the Arch repositories. So now we are going to save quit. After that, we will be doing this sudo pacman key double dash pop you populate arch linux go ahead and do that it appends the keys now last thing we have to do is we got a sudo pacman dash syy in order to sync all of our repositories now okay you know, since it's a fresh installation, I'm going to go ahead and do SYU before doing anything. It's a fresh installation, so everything should be upgraded anyways. Alright, now we got that. I'm going to sudo, sudo pacman-s firefox. Because now Firefox is only available in the community repos of Arch Linux. It is not it is not in any of the repositories on Artix except for the Omniverse repository. But I'm not gonna go it, go into that because it's not supported by the Artix devs. So I'm not going to be using that repository at all. I would rather just use the AUR and the Arch Linux repositories. All right, now go ahead and get back to you once it's done. All right, so now that Firefox is installed, we can go ahead and open up a guide. I am going to be using most of the Chris Titus stuff, but in general, I'm going to go ahead and put everything here. Thank you very much, Chris Titus, for having a guide on everything. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description to where you can get most of it. So... What we are going to do now is we are going to be setting our U limit because currently our U limit is at 4,000. We need it to be at above 500,000. So how we do that first, we have to go ahead and use our text editor into our limits. 
Next, what we do is we go ahead and type in our username. Then we do N524288. All right, now once that is done, we are going to go ahead and right quit. All right. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to go into sudo text editor root etc into secure into security limits dot conf. We go here. We are going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. We are going to make a couple new lines, and from here we are going to put our username. Soft. All right. No file. Then five two four two eight eight. Again, Longview three K. This is going to be hard. No file five two four two eight eight. Next is at username soft no file five two four two eight eight and then it's going to be hard no file five two four two eight eight. All right, so this is what we are going to be doing. So we go ahead, right quit. And now in order for these changes to set, you could either just log off, log back on, or you could go ahead and reboot your computer. All right, so I'll go ahead and catch you again once we come back. All right, we are back and now we are going to go ahead and see if our U limit is set. In order to do that, we are going to type in U limit dash hn 524288 we can now enable it e-sync into semen lutris now with that enabled i am going to go into christitis.com slash ultimate dash linux dash gaming dash guide and from there we are going to be installing a lot of packages right now i'm going to be installing some video drivers And this is going to be the command. Go ahead and do your password. And just let, just yes, we are going to go ahead and install everything. Okay, and I'll go ahead and get back to you once this finishes installing. All right, so now we are going to be editing or creating our ETC environment. So we are going to do sudo text editor ETC environment. Oh, it looks like it exists already. All right. So in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a new line and do all in all caps rad v underscore perf test equals AOC after that we are just going to right quit that and we're done with that all right so now we are going to be installing wine so we're going to the next step which we will be installing all of this I am not saying all of that at all so I am just going to press enter All right, and if you ever see any of these split repositories, always choose world, not extra. Always choose lib32, not multi-lib. You always want to go ahead and choose Arctic repositories if given that choice. If you try to go ahead and install from the extras with some of these programs, some of those programs might try to pull from the arch repos 
and it's going to conflict, which then there's going to be errors popping out. I don't know what's actually going to happen. I assume that's what's going to happen, where conflicts are just going to pop out, pop out of everywhere. So, all right. So I'll go ahead and see you guys after all of this installs again. All right, now that that's done, next thing I'm going to check is if we have Steam installed. So I'm going to go sudo pacman-s steam. So Steam's not installed, so let's go ahead and install Steam. It should be a quick download this time around because right now we have to go ahead and start up Steam. The reason why we start up Steam is that for the last and final part, we have to go ahead and install Proton Up. So go into your start menu or just right here on your console, you can go ahead and type in Steam, enter, and then let Steam do its startup process. Don't install Steam Native Runtime, even though it says it's an optional dependency. I should have done some research, but luckily it's not screwing with my system because um, it was about to change certain things, which luckily it didn't. All right. So after that is installed, after we have Steam installed and Steam went ahead and did its little setup, Next thing we are going to do is installing Proton Up. If you haven't before, you will want to go ahead and run sudo pacman s git wget. That's going to go ahead and give you the package you need to do git clone and wget. I'm going to use this command git clone https colon slash slash github.com a I'll need oh wait on the sieve pro oh my gosh I wish I knew how to spell all right now that that's done we are going to cd into proton up and python should already be installed so we are going to do python3 setup.py install user I'm assuming it's done so next thing that we are going to do is we are going to be adding something into our profile so we are going to cd back into home we're going to do ls-a to view all of our hidden files so in order to see our profile it looks like our profile is dot bash underscore profile so that's we are go that's where we're going to be <coughs> putting this next part we're going to sudo text editor into bash underscore profile now we are in this we're going to make a line and then we are going to do this all right now that that's done we're going to right quit it we are going to source We are going to source that. So now proton up is now a usable command. Okay, I'm sorry about that guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do my compatibility my compatibility tools didn't show up, so I'm going to do make dir dot steam root. Yeah. Okay, that's steam root compatibility tools dot D. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this again. Pr 
proton up dash D that is going to be dot steam dot root compatibility tools dot D press enter our install directory is now set to that so now the next thing we have to do proton up yes and now we just sit back and wait for it to install all of the GE protons okay so everything's done Lutris is already installed steam is installed protons up is installed and e-sync is enabled right now we have done everything on our list to go ahead and set up our computer to do some pretty basic gaming and by basic I mean you will be able to play Monster Hunter World you will be able to play a bunch of AAA titles as well uh, if you know, if it doesn't have anti-cheat but in order if you want to go ahead and look more to which games are more playable than the others i suggest you go ahead and use a very useful resource online protontdb.com you can go ahead and look type in the game and see how we're, how well it works on steam proton all right so that is all thank you very much and you guys have a great day